Welcome to Learn My Biology. We are just done with tissue. Don't forget, we are looking at level of organizations in living things. We want to look at another level of organization. We are done with cellular tissue. We are now on an organ where a group of tissues work together to perform one or more functions. They work together to perform one or more functions. So what is an organ? An organ is a group of tissues that work together to perform a particular function or functions. So let's look at examples of organs in animals. You know, an animal, such as a goat, is a living thing. We said the life of a goat is organized from cellular level through tissue, then organ to another level that will be mentioned after this one. But for now, let's look at some organs in the goat. A typical mammal. This is the head of a goat. This is the head of a goat. I hope you, you all know goat. So the ear is an organ. This part of the outer ear. The rest are inside. We can see part of the ear. What is the function of the ear? For hearing and balance. That is the function of the ear. Do so you have the eye? Or we can see the eye of a goat. It's for vision. In fact, the ear and the eye are both sense organs. Then we have nose, the opening of the nose. So this is a nostril. It's also an organ. So we have the ear, we have the eye, we have the nose. Then we have a tongue that has been removed. Tongue that has been removed when we are looking at tissue. And remember I told you the surface is protected by epithelial tissue. The tongue. What is the function of the tongue? It's for feeding. How? It's used in a mixing food. And also for swallowing. Also taste food. You know, it's adaptive features. Organ, flexible. It's not hard. Flexible. It's long enough to be able to turn food. Never observe goat or sheep feed. You understand what we are referring to? So tank for feeding. So that's the head. Then we come to the thoracic region of the goat. The thoracic region of the goat. We look at the heart. You can see the heart. This is the heart. What is the shape? It's pear shape or cone shape. What is the function of the heart? Pumping blood to all parts of the body. Don't forget it's blood. That transport oxygen. That is used in respiration for energy. So the heart pumps blood. We also have the lungs. Two lungs. Can you describe the color of the lung? It's pink. It's also spongy. Spongy means that's air spaces. That's the lung. That's the basic difference between the lung and the liver that we'll be looking at later. This is the liver, the color, and the feel. This one is spongy. The lung, spongy because of air spaces. You remember alveoli. Then the, the liver is not spongy. Even color, this one is brown. The liver is brown. 
the lung is pink. So what is the function of the lung? It's for respiration. It's for respiration. Respiration. And also for excretion. Don't forget carbon dioxide. Elimination of carbon dioxide from the body. Don't forget trachea. It's also part of the thoracic cavity. Let's move on to the abdominal region. The abdominal region. From the head, thoracic region, now to the abdominal region. We want to look at the liver. In fact, the liver is associated with the small intestine, the duodenum. The liver is brown. What is this function? It has a lot of functions. But for, for now, let us say that it secret bile, that emulsifies fat and oil. So it helps in digestion. Then attached to the liver is a gallbladder. Don't forget the gallbladder is found in the abdominal region. It is green. It's a long sac. Don't forget it contains bile also in digestion. The liver is made up of four lobes. Four lobes. It secretes bile. The gallbladder stores bile and releases it to the duodenum for emulsification of fat. That's digestion of fat. So the liver is an organ. The gallbladder is also an organ. Which organ is associated with the liver? Gallbladder. Which part of the alimentary canal is the liver associated with or attached to? It's the duodenum. Then let's move on to another important structure in the stomach. Sorry, another important structure in the abdomen, the stomach. What are the functions of the stomach? It stores food. It secretes enzyme. It so digests food. It mixes food also. This is a ruminous stomach, stomach of a goat. You remember in uh, JHS. So let's use, utilize this uh, opportunity to look at the components of the stomach of a ruminant. So this is a oesophagus. Don't forget, it's also found in the neck region, even up to thoracic region. So it's a structure that runs from the neck through to the abdominal region. That's oesophagus. What's the function of oesophagus? Swallowing and a movement of food from the mouth Obica cavity to the stomach. So the largest compartment is the rumen. Remember. Remember, rumen. Very big. The largest compartment. More than half of the entire volume of the stomach. The rumen. I hope you can see it. The rumen. Then regurgitation occurs. Full same back to the mouth, chewed again and swallowed. The food now enters through the, it enters the reticulum. So this is reticulum. So from rumen to the mouth, mouth back to reticulum. The reticulum, the omazoom, is the smallest compartment. Omazoom. Then from Omazoom to Abomazoom. Abomazoom is a true stomach because it's the one that secretes enzyme like in a um, human being. Gastric juice to digest protein and uh, other things. So when you get to Mega 2, when you look at mammalian physiology, we'll look at the various functions of the, we'll look at the detailed function of the various components of the Ruminant stomach. 
We even cut and look at the internal structure. So the stomach is an organ. But for the sake of a ruminant, we have even specialized components of the stomach. That's what you want to emphasize. But for now, it's the stomach. Then from stomach, food moves on to the food moves into the duodenum. Duodenum. So you have duodenum. Then from duodenum, then to the ileum, which is referred to as the small intestine proper. Okay? Very large, very long, large surface area. What is the function of our intestine? Digestion of food. Secretion of enzyme. Digestion of food. And even absorption of food. Then you move to the large intestine. We have the cecum. We have colon. We have rectum. Rectum is for storage of physics. It's characterized with pellet physics. So that is a rectum, storage of physics. Then anus. Anus. Regulate exit of physics so that you don't defecate by heart. Regulate. Fine. What about small intestine? We say digestion, absorption of food. What about large intestine? Absorption of water. I hope it is clear. That is the digestion, digestive system. Let's look at other structures in the abdominal region. In the abdominal region, we have kidney, being shaped kidney, being shaped kidney. There are two. Bean shaped kidney. There are two. I hope they look like beans. Identify the color and tell me. What are the function of kidney? Don't forget your information. Your information. Kidney. When you reach higher classes, you understand that. The kidney is also used in what we call osmoregulation. Osmoregulation. Control of uh, salt and water content of the body. That's the kidney. So if you have a problem with your kidney, you are not safe. Fine. So kidney for... How many are there? There are two. Which part of the organism are they located? It's a typical examination question. The kidneys are located in the abdominal region. We part of the abdominal region. Because if you look at the abdomen, we have the dorsal wall and the ventral wall. So on the dorsal wall of the abdominal cavity, you score your marks. Kidney, I found there. Their function, excretion, elimination of uh, urine, excretion of urea, excretion of Water, excretion of mineral salts. Then you see the ureter. What are the functions of the ureter? They transport urine to another organ known as the bladder, urinary bladder. Urinary bladder. What is the function of this organ? Stores urine temporarily. Then from the bladder, to the urethra. So this urethra runs through the penis to the outside. This is where they go to urinate. Urethra, urethra is inside the penis of the goats. So these are all organs in the goat. Then we have another important organ for reproduction, testes. I know the function for reproduction. The secret sperm, spermatozoa. For information, the testes also secrete a hormone known as testosterone, responsible for secondary sexual characteristics in the male. 
So we have looked at organs in the head. We look at organs in the thoracic cavity, then those in the abdominal region. Don't forget the largest organ in mama is the skin. What does it do? Protection. That's the basic function. Protection. But for information, the skin also helps in excretion, also in temperature regulation. Temperature regulation. That's the skin of a good. Skin of a good. We'll look for a special lesson where we we'll dissect the goat for you to see where all these things are obtained. And even rabbits. That's the difference with learning right biology. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Organ. An organ is a group of tissues that come together to perform specific functions. Because unlike tissue that we said one function, specific function, Tissue, sorry, organ may perform more than one. Liver, for instance, may perform a lot of functions. The skin, protection, excretion, temperature regulation. But it's made up of tissues. The heart performs a function of pumping blood to all parts of the body. What are the organs in the head? The eye. Ears, tongue, nose, thorax. Heart, lung, oesophagus, trachea. In the abdominal cavity, we have the stomach, we have the intestine. We have the liver, we have the gallbladder, we have the kidneys. Don't forget, the testes are not found inside the abdomen. They hang outside. They hang outside. Tell your dad to buy you a goat, male one, or a cow. You see that the testes hang outside. Why? Because they need suitable temperature. That is different from the one in the body for formation of sperm. For formation of sperm. Okay? Formation of sperm. So suitable temperature for formation of sperm. I hope it is clear. Great. Thank you for watching Learn Biology.